I was watching Lena Norms here on YouTube and she has this hashtag going, my year of make do, which is basically what she pledged is not to buy any new clothes, but actually sew her own clothes this year. So this is my contribution to my year of make do. Um, I've been living by that philosophy for quite a few years now. I do sew a lot of my clothing and I do sew a lot of my accessories as well. I do knitting and crochet and I make my bags and I make jewelry. There's a lot of things I do make. This is a magazine, a Burda magazine from November 2013. So it's the oldie one. If you can see in the lines here, it's a, a very easy, uh, very straightforward jacket. In the magazine, it's made with like a knitting fabric, so it's more like a cardigan. Um, but in my previous uh, video, I uh, show you this fabric that I had from the um, Abricot market in here in um, Amsterdam. And uh, it cost me the whole one euro. So I thought, you know, a vintage magazine that I bought 11 years ago and a one euro uh, fabric. Can I make something awesome? So I did. So I'm now making a how-to video for this uh, little cardigan, but I just want to show you how big the pieces are. So that's the back of the sleeve. That's the front of the sleeve. These are the pockets, four. These are the front and that's the back. So I have to put them on the floor because they are quite big. These are the sleeves and I just stitched the front to the back and iron them. I just want to show you how nice the pieces look once you iron them flat. Every time you do a seam, you iron it and it just looks amazing. So that's the bag with the pockets. And a word of advice, when you put the pockets, make sure they are, that's the neck and that's the side. So the pockets are going down because I did not once, but twice, Put the pockets facing upwards. You know, sometimes when a project is too easy, you just get complacent and you think, oh, I'm just going for it. I didn't even put this pocket properly, so it was facing upwards. So basically, I'm going to go down around the pocket and then down and the same thing on the other side. So you can see that's the picking of the back and these are the two fronts. So I just tried it. I uh, finished it yesterday. Well, I finish it. I stitch it together and I think it's a bit too big. I did the bigger size and I kind of like the length. I didn't think I would like it so long, but I actually do like it. It's like a duster, like a duster coat. Um, I don't know what to say. I love it. It's just a bit too big. If it was a very drapey fabric, I wouldn't have all of this, but because it's very stiff, uh, well, it's not very stiff, but it has a lot of body. Um, I don't like it so big here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce all of the seams a bit, especially the arm here. Seems weird, all this fabric here and this. And um, maybe a little bit on the sides as well because I still need to add the collar. So I still need to add a big on this one, the big width in here and there because it's like a one strap that goes all around. So I still need more fabric added to it. And I think it's way too big. So I'm gonna reduce its size a little bit. Okay, so I've reduced this arm. You can see there's a little bit less fabric here. I reduced this seam and this seam. I just came from the armhole. I left it as it was, but from like zero millimeters, I started increasing to one centimeter around here and another one here. Yeah. Uh, if you look at the both, you see this one is a it's a tiny little bit smaller. I guess it could be a bit <laughs> smaller. I don't know. I finished uh, the sleeves and the side. I uh, tidy up a little bit because it was way too big. I'm gonna start at the back of the neck, but for what I understand from the pattern, I need to stitch it right sides together here, and then turn it around and top stitch it. I really quite like it. I like the colors. I think it's very nice. What do you think? So this is it. I wanted to see if I could make like a coat stroke jacket um, with a cardigan, 
uh, pattern? And the answer, as you can see, is yes, you can. <laughs> um, this fabric, I love it. It's obviously very structured. I think I might still need to reduce the length of the sleeves. I think it's still too long, but that's a very easy fix. Um, and it's still quite oversized, um, but I like it. It's a, it's a nice duster style uh, jacket. I'm happy with it. I've gone through my stash and I found this awesome, super shiny uh, bias tape that I um, thrifted um, at the same time as I thrifted this. Uh, this one is from the thrift store and it cost me one euro for the whole hair. And it's so shiny and lovely. I'm thinking I might spend some time just going through all of the seams inside and uh, finish it with this because it will make it so much nicer. So this is my first contribution for the my year of make do. Um, I'm hoping to make many more. And um, I want to give a shout out to uh, Lina for um, thinking of this um, hashtag movement. Uh, getting the community together. I think it's a very good idea. So anyway, um, a one euro fabric, a vintage magazine, a one euro um, bias tape. What do you have to do? So in the, in the comments below, let me know if you're thinking of contributing to this hashtag, my year of make do. And um, I will see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, 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 hold on. I found this fabric in my stash and uh, it's a beautiful denim with the printed flowers and it has a little bit of a stretch. So on my last video, I was wearing um, like a plaid blue dress with a ties on the waist. And I'm, it's so simple. It's just literally front and back, the sleeves and the tights. Super simple to make. So if I don't have enough of the dress, I might combine it with some kind of a stretchy black or deep blue um, and make the sleeves out of that and uh, I'm gonna make myself a copy of that plaid dress that I'm wearing on the last video so anyway uh, this time I run and do go <laughs> please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one bye